Thanks for checking out another episode of Full Retard by Mentally Damaged. Today we have more choosing beggars so let's get to it. First up youngest sister thought she should be allowed to keep all the gifts. This happened years ago but it's still one of my favorite stories to tell when I try to explain how different my youngest sister is. Some background. I have two younger sisters K. Good sister is 18 months younger and J. CB sister is 5 years younger. J has always been difficult to get along with. We used to just chalk it up to her being the baby by many years and being spoiled because of it, but now we are all just sick of her shit. Okay so it's close Christmas and we are about 17, 16, and 12 years old. My mom, trying to make things easier on herself had told us girls to go through a few of her catalogs and put sticky notes on pages we saw clothing items that we liked. This would give her an idea of what to buy us. We had fun doing it and we all have very different styles. Christmas morning arrives and my parents have outdone themselves again and each of us girls has a pile of gifts bigger than necessary. We settle in and start unwrapping. We take turns in our family so everyone gets the attention on them when they open and my mom can enjoy the looks on our faces and our happiness. Kay and myself are very grateful kids and we have enough manners and sense to graciously thank our parents for each gift we unwrap whether we like it or not. Everything I unwrap is great but I can see that some of the clothes Kay is unwrapping don't seem like her style but she sets them aside and thanks my mom anyway. We know that if something doesn't fit right we can talk to our mom later and do an exchange at a store later in the week. Jay on the other hand is a monster. Each gift she unwraps is met with disgust. E.W. This is ugly. I didn't ask for this. You only got me a $50 gift card. I need at least $250. The more clothes she unwraps the more upset she gets and my mom is getting closer to a meltdown over her attitude. Finally Kay starts to pay closer attention to Jay and says OMG I know why you don't like the clothes. Mom must have switched our orders. Look at my pile, they are all your style and size and I remember asking for all the pieces in your pile. My mom, in her haste to wrap gifts swapped the clothing gifts meant for Kay and Jay and each girl's got the gifts that were intended for the other. Kay hands her pile of clothes to Jay and Jay takes them and sets them next to the pile she unwrapped but hated. Then, nothing. Kay asks her for the pile she doesn't want and the following happens. Jay, what the fuck do you want? These are mine. K, but you don't like them and we all figured out they got swapped. I just gave you my whole pile to trade. J, no. I'm going to return the ones I don't like and exchange him for more clothes I do like. They were given to me. And besides, I hardly got any gifts I liked and my gift cards weren't for a lot of money. K, what are you talking about? Mom made a mistake and those are my gifts and now I don't have any at all because you have them all. Eventually my mom had to step in and make Jay give the gifts to Kay. She was pissed. She literally thought that she would just get to keep double the gifts because my mom made a mistake. I have a lifetime of stories about Jay that would fill a novel. Edit. The most common question has been is she still the same or if she has grown out of it. The answer is no, she is worse. She is 28 now and functions like a teenager in my opinion. She never grew up. She still says things like mom and dad are my parents and I'm their child. They have to take care of me. She never graduated high school and has been in and out of trouble with the law. She doesn't think there is anything wrong with her, refuses to see a therapist, refuses the idea of medication, and blames everyone for her problems. My parents have since divorced and my mom and I live and FL, not together but close so I can care for her and my dad and Jay still live in NY. Kay removed herself completely from Jay's crap and moved to Chicago. She and I are still close and are best friends. I meant it when I said I have a literal lifetime of stories that make people say, no, a real person didn't say, do that. But oh yes one did my friend. Up next don't lend money to family if you ever want to see it again. My wife's younger sister borrowed $60,000 from us years back to buy her dream app in Manhattan. She started working on us for the loan six months before by telling us she would will the app to our daughter plus pay us $10,000 at the closing, then $2,000 a month afterwards until the full loan was paid. 
We lent her the money, both of us knowing we'd probably never see all of it ever again. As predicted, as the closing approached the terms changed to $4,500 at the closing and $1,250 per mo until paid off. Two days before the closing my wife gets a text that sis may not be able to pay us anything at closing, but would honor the $1,250 per mo and the will up to our daughter. Three months after the closing my wife gently asked the sister when she'd start the PMTS. Her reply, all right all right, God, you're like hounding me, I'll pay you. Six months after again my wife asked when we can expect the PMTS to start, the sis begrudgingly wrote out a check for $500 and all but threw it in my wife's face. I then asked her later on that day what happened to $1,250, and she goes, I can't afford that right now. That was 11 years ago. Every three to four months we get a check for $500. She's paid us a total of maybe $15,000 give or take. To my understanding she does not have a will so I don't know her intentions of bequeathing the app to my daughter. By the way, she has a personal trainer, pays $400 to get her hair and nails done every month, and buys the latest iPhone on its release date. Yes, she waits in line at Apple Store. Never lend money to family. Ever. That's it for today's episode. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to like us on Facebook. Our first contest will be at 500 likes. If you have comments email us at opinions at mentallydamaged.com and if you're on YouTube don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get all of our latest episodes.